Hey everybody, Patty Ann here again today. I told you I like to do paint parties and I'm embroidering little things that people can put on their paintings as they go along. This sample is not done yet. I have some more texture to do in the flowers and whatnot, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to take a pair of earrings in embroidery and make it into something you could put on something else. So let's check out my software and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, this is what I started out with, and I wanted to end up with something that looks like this, which is one ladybug earring, no hole, and I put it in my little tiniest tube that I have. Uh, it's two and three quarters by one and five eighths, because I just wanted to do one when I do a test sew out. I don't want to sew out a whole page and waste all my time, thread, machine count, blah, blah, blah. I want to do something quick, check it out, does it work? So let's go back to the one that came. This is the way it came. And I can hide my hoop right now by just hitting the letter H on my keyboard. And I'm going to go to the stitch simulator and I'm going to look at this. And it's going to do the black here. And then it's going to do the black of the ring. Remember I said I don't want the ring. Then the black over here and the black of the ring. So I'm going to go like this all the way going through here. When I'm almost to the ring, I'm going to come up here to these blue triangles that allow me to go stitch by stitch. If I click on and I can see my little cursor moving and right about there's where I want to stop it. Right there I'm going to stop it and I'm going to say stop. There's a stop sign. And when I stop it, I'm going to add a color change so that I know where that is and say okay. So now what we have is black and then my machine's going to stop. It's going to do this green. Okay, now when it gets over to this other one, well, I could leave that green as it is because I'm going to get rid of that one. And the red can stay. Okay, there's where I'll need another stop when it pops over to this other red one. So I'm going to go back a dot, forward a dot. Let's see. Okay, just jumped over. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to stop and I'm going to change it. I guess I'll change it to that same green color and say okay. So let's see. I want the black here. Machine's going to stop. It's going to get rid of do the green. It's going to do that green. It's going to stop. Start doing this red. Stop. This green. Black to the black on this side. I want it to stop here because I'm not going to do this one over here. So I'm going to use this up plus arrow again. Or the blue arrow I should say again. As soon as it gets here, I'm going to say stop again. Change it to that greeny color again. So let's see. I've got the guy on the left. Stop. And the green, and the green that I don't want, and the green I don't want. Every green I don't want. Alright. So right here, I want this red. But when it's going to go to the last one, I don't want the red over there. Okay, so I got to go back, click until I see it jump over there, and then go back one. Okay, it jumped over, so I'm going to go back one, say stop, change that to the green, and say okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is expand this over here, and anything that's green, I'm going to click on it and then hit delete on my keyboard. And that should leave me with exactly what I want. So let's run the stitch simulator. It's going to do this. Okay, that's perfect. And that's exactly what I did. I can click on H to bring my hoop back. And then I can click on this guy here. And go back to the arrow so that I can put it right in the middle of my hoop. And then all I would do is come up here to File, uh, File, Save, Stitch File as, and I saved it as Ladybug without a hole and said OK and Save. And it says it already exists because I'm just overwriting it and I'll say no this time. But then all I would do next, since I have the Brother Machine that uh, works with wirelessly, I would open up my wireless connection. Hopefully my machine is still on over there, but I would find in my files over here, the ladybug without a hole, click on it, download it, 
and then I would send it over to my machine by clicking this right here. But I already have it over there, so I'm not going to do it again. My point today was just to teach you how you can use the color stops to be able to eliminate things that you don't want in your design. So I hope you like this. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.